All right, welcome back to the Leagues for Progress video series where we have been grinding crafting. We are at 88. I wanted to go to 90 so we could make the Amulet of Fury, but then I realized we have a bunch of Soliacep caps and those are a plus four crafting boost, so we don't need to go to that level. Let's see what else we could make. Yeah, that's really it. We don't have any Zenite stuff. And it's just the Onyx bracelet and the Onyx amulet. There's an Onyx necklace, but, you know, we don't really need a regen bracelet. So it would just be the Onyx amulet. So yeah, we'll use one of our Soliacep caps, make a mushroom pie, boost up, and make the Fury. And that'll be a big upgrade to our raiding setup. Go into the depths of Karamja to buy the uncut onyx, and we will chisel that. We've got a uncooked mushroom pie and we cook it. And now we go over to the furnace. Take a bite of this pie, go in here, onyx amulet, and where's our wool? And we string it, there we go. Oh, that's a task. Craft an onyx amulet, 200 points. We are not done though, we have to come over here, pray at the altar, so we can use level six enchant, amulet of fury. Is that a task to equip it? It is not. All right, well let's go back to the bank. Previously we were wearing an amulet of power. The amulet of fury is a straight upgrade over it in every single way, so we have no downsides to wearing this thing. And it, it it's just a plus four in attack, it's got some prayer, it doesn't really matter. It's just better. It's not going to change the game for us, but it does help. We need many, many, many more Saradamin potions. So we are going to sit here and, oh my God, I need a spade. Plant and then harvest toad flax until we have like, I don't know, 300 or something. All right, that is 411 toad flax. That should be good. And we technically need more super restores as well, but... I don't know. I don't really want to go to Seracnus right now to get red spider's eggs. I only have one. So I think I'll do a few more TOA with what we've got here. And then we'll we'll go to Seracnus because there are a lot of tasks there. There's a lot of tasks at Mole too. How many bird nests do we have? 35. And so we only have like 100. Yeah, we're going to need to refill a little bit. But I want to get a purple before I do anything else. Okay, so on the agenda after is mole for mole parts because there's a task for that and seracnus for red spider's eggs but for now we're just going to make all this stuff and head back to toa all right we got up to 83 herb lore from that it's really fast xp it was like six and a half mil an hour and we have 96 saradamin brews i'm decanted a few super restores we should be good for a few more runs so we'll get something and then we'll go back into prep mode. We're going to need to make more ruby bolts too. We're pretty good on diamond and onyx. All right, we got our 700 going and let's do this. No way is this happening. No way is this happening. No way is... Are you kidding me? It just disconnects? The problem with 700s, honestly, is that the margin for error is just so, so small. Like, so small. It, it just, it's just, uh, that one DC, everything was going perfectly. And whatever, we'll do 520s. That's fine. I'm sure I'll get something, maybe. I can't believe my internet happened to go out at the exact second I was at Warden's. That that never happens. My internet never goes out like that. I mean, granted, I, I didn't have any salts, so that was like a really tough warden and maybe 700s aren't exactly doable in my gear but i was getting close and i wanted to accomplish it just so i could say that i did it but i'm sure we just got stupendously unlucky on that last 500 and that's why we didn't get anything and if we do them in the future like right now i'm sure we will get a bunch of stuff so it'll be fine oh wow perfect is back that i did not expect that what wait and perfection of Krondus. What is that? I'll have to look that up. That's a grandmaster task. Okay, yeah, that Wardens was ridiculously easy. Let's just hope I don't make any stupid mistakes on the final phase. Oh my god, we are so close to 50 million ranged. Yeah, and there it is. 50 million range XP. That tracks. At least I have a ton of supplies. Oh, but I'm not going to make time. 
This is like, I've never been more frustrated in my life. Oh, oh my God. Uh, thank God. I'll take anything. I'll take any item, any item you want to give me. Okay, that actually isn't really what I wanted. That is actually the worst item. Uh, whatever, at least I got it. I think if we put it, I think it's our new, like, best in slot, right? No, it's actually worse than what we've got, especially because we don't use specs. But if we wear it, that's 80 points. So we're going to dump this in the bank, and we're going to do the back-to-back. -back. All right, that's number seven, and we beat the target time this time. Let's see if we get rewarded with the back-to-back. -back. No, of course not. That was a 75% chance we would get it. Garbage loot. So, like I said, we are done with TOA right now, and one of the things we want to do is get more red spider's eggs. More as in more than the one that we have. So we are going to go to Seracnus. That is 50 Seracnus kills, and I think we have all the temple pages that we need, and we got three egg sacks. So we can only do that while we're in a bank. This will probably sustain us for the whole week. Honestly, I don't see us using more than 300 red spider's eggs. All right, we've got all four tattered pages so we can complete that mini quest. And now I think I can just empty the giant egg sack into the bank. Red spider's eggs, 301. Awesome. And we can go do the mini quest right now. That was easy enough. This is going to be In Search of Knowledge Complete, which I think is... There we go. 10 points. I really just like... I just want to do TOA. I want to get the Ward and the Fang and the Shadow, maybe. Some Masori would be good, too. Everything we can get here is an upgrade. So I think I'm just going to camp this for a while, and we will see what we can get. All right, kill number eight. I will take anything but a light bearer. Motherfucker. Oh, a yellow gem. Okay, you know what? This isn't a total waste because the yellow gem is awesome. It's like a full heal spec. Let's attach that to the Karis Partisan. Yeah, this thing will like fully heal you. So it's really nice for like panicking at, at Warden. A back-to-back, -back. and we died once. So let's see what we get. Again, anything but a light bearer. You've got to be joking me. Well, I died once at Warden, and I didn't make time here, so I don't think we are going to get anything, which is a bummer. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I'm going to lower the invocation a bit because not having salts every time at Warden sucks. So if I take off need some help, we're down to 520 which I think will be fine because then I'll get salts for everything. You know what? I'm just going to try walk the path on this one. We'll see what happens. I died at Akka again, so I don't think we will be getting a purple. I can't remember what I died to. Oh, we did get one. Nice. All right. I'm not even going to say it this time. What am I doing with my life? I'm going to take off Jog for it because it stresses me out, and we'll just do 555s. Walk the path was not that hard. All right, I am hiding the camera behind this so that I can't see anything. And then we will turn and see what we got. Oh, yes, our first piece of Missouri. Awesome. All right, putting it on is a task. All right, let's go figure out how to fortify this. Okay, apparently we need to use a chisel on a piece of armadillo armor while a hammer is in our inventory, but we need 90 crafting. So let's get 90 crafting real quick. All right, before we continue crafting, there is something I wanted to look at. We go into combat achievements, tombs of a masket. We got perfection of Krondus, which is perfect Krondus and perfect Zabak in a single run. So that's that was pretty cool getting that. So that is 90 crafting, and let's actually take a look at the differences between the Armadil, the Masori, and the Masori Fortified. So here's Armadil, plus 20 ranged accuracy, it's got negatives in all of the other styles, and then roughly 30s across the board with plus one prayer. The Masori Chaps is kind of a downgrade by itself, right? I mean, it's a range accuracy increase, and it gets rid of the attack bonuses, but the defense stats 
drop down, you gain a plus two in range strength, but you lose the prayer. But then if you go to the Missouri Chaps Fortified, it's the plus 27. The defense goes back up and in fact above what it was for the Armadil. You keep the plus two range strength and you get the prayer back. So Missouri Fortified is a straight upgrade over Armadil, but just regular Missouri, not so much. So I want to make sure I do this right. So we need the Missouri Chaps. I've got the armadillo chain skirt on, so we would use the hammer. Nope, we use the chisel. Yes, really break it apart, really break it apart. And then we use that on there, fortify our Missouri. And there we go, is that a task? It's not. All right, but that is our upgraded Missouri Chaps F. So that is pretty cool. Put those in there, put that in there. Very nice, I am happy with that. I think it's time we take a break from TOA. First thing we want to do is make some more super restores because we are way, way out. So do we have Snapdragon? We have 25, so we can go plant some more. And there's a little over 300 Snapdragons. So let's go turn those into already made potions. All right, a grand total of 359 super restores. We are level 83 Herblore. Let's see where we are when we finish this. That's going to be everything, and we got to 85, so two levels. I'm going to leave a few in the bank in case I need them. Let's turn these into four-dose potions, and then I have a pretty cool idea of what to do next. 222 super restores. I'm sure that's more than enough. Now, we are only seven points away from the hard, and because we're going to be doing a lot of TOA, I figure what's the best way to make it just a little bit easier and that would be getting some Bandos items. So doing all of these tasks, 50 and 100, kill within 15 times in a privately rented instance, all of this stuff will probably, I mean, not probably, definitely get us to the hard tier and possibly get us some Bandos gear to help with our melee in TOA. And then if we can eventually get a Fang, I'm not saying we will get one because I don't even know at this point, that would be an even bigger upgrade. And then the only thing we could get is mage gear, which maybe we get an arcane and some ancestral from Cox when we get there eventually. So yeah, let's gear up for General Gridor. All right, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know what to pray or anything like that. So outside of the kill count things, kill Gridor while he's immobilized, we can do that because we, we bring in freezes. And kill Gridor without him attacking any players, we'll probably get that one easily. And then I don't know about the defense matters thing, but yeah, we've got our broad bolts, so we can just sit in there over and over. We'll see how it goes. Okay, well, he killed me immediately. Clearly our method needs some work. Okay, praying melee went way smoother. All right, this should be the kill him while immobilized thing. Yeah, there it is. Oh, what'd we get? Org freezer and 300 combat achievement points. Okay, so I, I just wanted to get some of the other ones out of the way before I, uh, you know, sat here for however long. So that's org freezer. That should be general showdown. This is gonna be the combat achievement. Kill him without him touching you. And there we go, a master achievement, combat achievements hard tier. That is crazy, 400 points. That was Org Freezer 2. I've done a lot of Bofa Bandos on my UIM, so I was basically spending that whole time trying to get the timing down with a two-tick weapon rather than a four-tick, and I think I've got it. So now I'm going to gear up for the 15 kills in an instance thing, and then when I die, I can just go get the hard combat achievement awards from the Sage and Lumbridge because that's where I will respawn. Oh, wow, that was fast. There's a Bandos chest plate on... 18 KC. Very nice. Ah, freaking leagues inventory tags, man. All right. Well, now we just need the tassets and we're good. Oh, I don't know what that achievement is, but I got it. Keep away. Uh, I'll have to look that up. Grandmaster combat achievement. Wow. Kill General Gridor in a privately rented instance without taking any damage from the boss or bodyguards. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, there's tassets. So that's yeah, 
that 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 would be everything that we came here for in 23 kills like i said i think sarah was the only one that we weren't gonna get spooned at so okay i mean we might as well stay i guess it's honestly kind of nice to have this over and done with because i cannot figure out how to not get hit like the 6-0 bofa method does not really work with this two tick weapon i can get it on whenever you enter but i can't get it on the one where you're already in so I i'm happy that this was a very short grind there is org killer which is 15 kills in an instance so i guess we can leave i mean we didn't get the bgs but that's fine we don't really need it defense really doesn't matter in this league all right we can go ahead and throw our bandos in the bank and if we go to the leagues tab we'll put those in there and that replaces well why don't we we take a look so let's see we were wearing the obsidian armor before and these were the stats it was plus four melee strength and if we put bandos on oh equip a piece of the bandos armor nice the defense goes up a ton especially the range defense it goes up by 126 crush goes up by like 90 slash goes up by 30 stab goes up by 60 melee strength only goes up by two and prayer goes up by two which we didn't have prayer beforehand i wonder if i should go back for the boots for 200 points i need the boots as well so maybe I grind out like 100 KC for the combat task. It'd be really fast now that I'm not waiting around and killing the minions. I think now that I don't need the obsidian as well, I think I'm going to replace that probably with the either the boots or the dragon defender. Probably the defender, and it'll be these four for melee. So that's a pretty big increase. And then eventually we'll replace this with the fang. And there we go. The Bandos boots like five kills later. So that would be everything. I think I'm going to stay to 100 and see if I can get the hilt. That was full Bandos finished in 33 kills. Yeah, 33. That's unbelievable. Even for the league, that's insane. So two sides of the same insanity. Super spooned and super dry. There is General Gridor Adept. That's 50 kills. We got another Bandos boots. And I realize I'm actually probably going to stop here because there's not really a reason for me to get the bgs like i said defense doesn't matter and the only other task for god sword is equip all five but if we come out here and equip all of these elite task full bandos set that is pretty cool i'm also playing around a bit more with the toa setup i feel like i might switch to main hand dragon defender uh it's got higher attack bonuses for pretty much everything i mean not range but my range is like in the least need of help it does have a lot less defense but i really don't think defense is going to be too much of an issue in toa i don't take a lot of damage so i think i might switch to this in the main hand and then instead of this i will wear the dragon boots for my melee setup so that's a pretty high strength bonus difference from what we had before i'm not quite ready to go back to toa yet so i'm going to pull out my dragon pick because i think it's time to knock out this falador hard and elite diary so we're going to need this from this chest but we will be back to toa don't you worry there is a task for mine 50 adamantite rocks so maybe i'll just like run around here hop worlds a bit and just do that let me make sure it's for my region yes it is it's 80 points but whatever we might as well do it that's going to be mine 50 adamant ore for 80 points and you know what while i was doing this i was editing the video together and there's so many clips of me getting really frustrated at toa and some people would be like ah oh, it's kind of cringy like you get rid of those but i think i'm gonna leave a bunch of them in because it shows that you know like youtube clips and videos are already so curated to the point where you know you can just present whatever perfectionist image you want but i feel like there's something to be said for showing some of this stuff is really frustrating and it's hard to get 
raids completions over and over and you do fail a lot and i don't know sometimes i'll watch other content creators and it's just like thousands of raids all in a row and i'm like it's kind of makes it seem unattainable for like a regular person watching it you're like man they're so good at this so i'm leaving a bunch of the failures in as a show of like it's not as easy as people make it. This shit is really hard and people fail all the time. And don't get discouraged if you fail all the time because so do I. But anyway, now we are here at the Motherload Mine and I believe we have the shortcut here. So that will make this really nice. And we can just go back and forth and get a bunch of nuggets. There's tasks for nuggets. There's tasks for wearing the prospector and full prospector is a fally hard task. So we got to get that anyway. We are 87 mining. We'll see how much experience we get from uh, getting all of the nuggets that we need. So I wanted to show this as well. Most people probably know this, but there's a bug in the game where your number of golden nuggets, or maybe it's not a bug, I don't know, but your golden nuggets are capped at like three per inventory. So somebody way smarter than me said that if you put in nine at a time you will circumvent that cap or like you'll hit the cap every time with the increased drop rates you should be getting like three golden nuggets for every inventory so we'll just wait for this to go down there and then we'll put all three in and normally i would wait for you know all three deposits but just to show how that works we'll come down here we should get anywhere between seven eight or nine nuggets so we got six. All right. But if we put a regular inventory in, we would get like two or three. That's the most we could get. So anyway, we're going to just put nine in at a time. There's a task for 20 golden nuggets. And then the full prospector is 180. Okay, let's see. 18 nuggets. And that is 20 in total. Yeah, it got a little weird with the number of pay dirt I could put in there at the end. You can basically do three and a half deposits. Let's put these in there. And that was another two. Right on. This will be quick. We already have, that was six deposits in total, and we have 26 nuggets. Oh, and we get runite, which is awesome. I didn't realize. I don't know if I'm going to knock this out all in one sitting. It's actually like a really good editing activity, so maybe I'll do it over the course of editing a bunch of videos because i honestly like it it's kind of ridiculous but i just i really just want to get back to toa i feel like with the gear upgrades like i want to try them out i want to see if it makes a difference and i'm just kind of excited about the prospect of like 75 percent drop rate so i think i might leave this as our editing activity and head back to toa for a bit but we got our first actual drop from TOA, the Missouri Chaps. It would be really cool to get full Missouri. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm definitely going to try. So that is going to be the focus of some of the next videos. Maybe. I mean, I, I don't seem to be able to stick to any one thing that I decide to do. Because I said I was going to do Guardians of the Rift that I never did. So maybe I'm just a liar, but we will see what happens next time. But without further ado, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And I'll see you again next time.